Oh my god. Oh my god. The bunny suit. Yes. <laughs> I've seen that bunny suit before, but I've never um, seen it in game yet. Well, I own it on Battle Royale, but um, the character model is completely different. So I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go be Kyle again, I think. Why not? It's been a little while since I've played as Kyle. I'm going to go back. Or you know what? I haven't played as Ramirez in a while. Should I play as... I have an like, epic version of her. Does she have anything? No, she just uses frag grenades. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go show Kyle some love then. So here we go. All right. So we're going to go and retrieve some data now. We have to complete and retrieve the data mission. So let's go do this. They survived. They contain valuable storm rings. Maybe we can see what's corrupting the data. The landing site is somewhere in this zone. You search on foot, and I'll search from above. Okay, so let me go here and drop him this weapon. So, drop. There you go. Thank you again. Okay, just want to make sure to get that weapon back to him, because it's like apparently like a super duper rare weapon thing. So, let's go and see what's around here. Let me go change this back to team chat. Um, okay, there we go. So, uh, when do we get hoverboards? Those are really cool. I can't wait to um, use one of those eventually. Whoa, oh, that's right. And I have like that new ability, which I think is used on structures. So we have to locate the landing site. And then, uh, bonus, find the site before Ray. Oh, my. Oh, it's a later mission. Got it. I'm looking forward to uh, eventually getting that hoverboard because that will be a ton of fun. It'll be a tutorial quest. Okay, got it. Uh, let's go see what this is. That's right, to temporarily improve movement speed. Dude, the hoverboard looks like so much fun. And I've seen people in the community... I don't know why I'm knocking down that tree. I don't need wood anymore. Uh, I've seen people in the community go out of their way to make like some really crazy hoverboard tracks. Like uh, really large ramps and courses to do like little races and stuff with. So that sounds like something that would be really fun to explore in the near future for sure. So at the top left, you can also see all of the party members' HP, by the way. I just realized that. So there we have Awesome Nikos, um, Ivy Red, and Finati again. So the cool thing about this game, by the way, is that you can see that with Awesome Nikos, he is playing on his PlayStation 4. And I'm still playing on my PC. So there is cross-play in this game. What the hell is... Th oh my god, is that ours? What is that? Okay, I think that's potentially ours because <laughs> it's not like attacking us and I think it's attacking the enemies this is awesome I saw someone plop down some other type of robot a moment ago so that must be it I'm pretty sure uh, you just have to go destroy hot rods and get hoverboard parts oh okay I'm excited to do that then because yeah I can't wait to hoverboard around with everyone in this area dude there's so many cool skins and weapons and like I, it's just I'm excited to see what else this has to offer whoa ivy has like this crazy cool blade that is really neat all right well we just saved this little dude over here um so locate the landing site got it so this is for the weather balloon right uh that's like for some reason threatening to kill us and being very creepy for whatever reason i'm not exactly sure what that's all about <laughs> I'm sure, you know, it's just a misunderstanding, hopefully. Um, who, who knows? Who knows? Maybe they're serious. Hopefully not. Oh, I think I see something up there. Am I crazy? I can't craft there for some reason. Let me go over here. Oh, never mind. I thought this was something of importance. It is not. But at least I can get some metal out of it at the very least. So, that's better than nothing. Did they just trap him in the box? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> let them be free look no they were not meant to be in a cage okay whoa oh my god okay holy crap <laughs> that's insane that is insane you know what's also equally insane um awesome nico's character's name is uh penny and Penny, she thick. Like, she's super thick. Oh my god, the egg launcher! I miss the egg launcher. They used to have that in Battle Royale, but then they, um... Basically... 
reverted it back to a regular grenade launcher, and I was really sad when they did that. So the weather balloon is landing in 13 minutes and 15 seconds. Okay, so I guess with this particular mission, we just have to go around and just, like, find where it's going to deploy. Like, I don't really know what we're looking for necessarily, but I'm going to go towards the other side of the map. Press M to access the map to help you locate the landing zone. Okay, so we checked the bottom left portion. Uh, there's still a whole undiscovered area at the top. It looks like someone's using their hoverboard to go over there. So uh, maybe I should go in another direction, maybe. I'm not exactly sure how big each map is, but I'm really surprised at how much variety there is with every single stage so far. As far as the, t the terrain and everything, like this is really freaking cool. Um, again, because since I've been playing the other modes so much, it's like I just am so used to the same terraforming in every single direction. So just basically exploring a new type of landscape is kind of exciting for me. And I've seen on Twitter that there are different biomes in this game too. So it's not just all a bunch of green areas to explore. Eventually we'll run into like deserts and also um, icy landscapes and a whole bunch of other more diverse areas so that'll be really cool to see once we get to that point so yeah i'm gonna whoa okay found a survivor that needs help so i'm gonna go take care of this situation um oh oh i think finati just found it potentially did we locate the landing site i'm not sure if we did or not um but we'll just take care of this situation real quick because I'm imagining that saving all these people that need help uh, probably is worthwhile, I would imagine. So, we'll do that. I want to charge at someone. It's been a while since I've charged. Oh, I totally messed that up. I charged at the car instead of another enemy. That was so sad. So sad. <laughs> oh, well. But, yeah. This is so neat. I love the fact that we have a full party for once. The first mission that I ever did with the full party. All right. Uh, we have to go talk to him for some presents. Oh, what? What the hell is this? Oh, wait, we beat. Is this a llama? <laughs> it does not sound very impressed. <laughs> it's just like, ow. <laughs> I'm out. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at all these resources. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how that happened or what, but that was beautiful. That was something truly special. <laughs> I'm excited to try out the last two remaining classes. I'm pretty sure there's a total of four. So I played as a soldier a bit and then also the constructor, obviously. But yeah, we can be the Outlander and also a ninja eventually. Um, it probably will take a little while until we get to that point, but I am very much looking forward to it for sure. So I guess I should get this blue glow. We're probably going to need it. I've found 75% of the map already. We have one minute and 24 seconds to find the location before Ray. So I'll see if we can do that. I mean, it oh, there it is, I think. Is that it? Is that what we've been searching for this whole time? There it is. Ah. Will land. Got it. Any attacks from the storm's creatures could corrupt the data. So let's build defenses. Okay. Got it. So let's Bonus challenge is now available. Fortify the landing site. See what's been corrupting the data. Do we have to really build it up that high? I don't think so, right? I think that's like a little excessive probably. But let's go do uh, whenever it's a weather balloon, uh, balloon mission, look up in the sky. Okay, look up in the Oh, wow. There it is. I totally didn't even see it there. Okay. So that's what we're going to be, like, protecting. Kind of like getting a really big supply drop, I guess. So it's going to land in eight minutes. So I guess we just have to wait until time is over. I Has it just been gradually falling this whole time and I didn't even realize? Maybe that's what it is. Oh, my backpack is full already. Whoops. Uh, I don't know what to discard and what to keep, so I'll probably just ignore that for now. But yeah, let's just go around here and 
build up and fortify this. Why not? Don't worry about building up too far. The blue lands got it. So let's go take a closer look at their skins over this way. So Fanati has this really cool suit over this way. And then um, Nikos again has the bunny suit, which my goodness <laughs> is pretty nuts. I really like um, Ivy's like flowy scarf going everywhere. That's neat. What is this? A uh, pistol. Oh, um, thank you, but my backpack is full from all the weapons you gave me. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Thank you. All right, you know, I'm going to do a little dance then. Oh, my money maker. It's shaking. Oh, can't stop now. Oh. Oh. Defend that data. Okay, so the weather balloon, I guess you can shoot it down. And when you shoot down the weather balloon, uh, then you can start for the husks to uh, basically get here. I'm, I should probably just stick with like my assault rifle over this way. So it seems like they're all going to be coming over here. I'm going to go up and be a little bit aggressive. Whoa! There's some cool moves there that you can do with these different classes. That is really neat. I I'm really stoked to try out the ninja. Because, again, the melee weapons just seems like really appealing to me. But I do also enjoy the constructor quite a bit. Oh yeah, let me just for, I know that we probably won't need it, but I'm gonna go over here and see if I can use my special ability. So let me go plop this down here. And then, oh, well, there's a husk right there. Okay, maybe I do need it. <laughs> anyway, oh, that's like, yeah, so that's so awesome. So when they hit the wall, it makes them a bounce away and it affects this region over here. That's really cool. I'm excited to see like what other modifiers constructors could potentially add to their structures because it definitely seems like there's a lot of possibilities and a lot of cool ideas that they could do there. I'm a little bit too close now, but you know what? I kind of want to charge at them, so why not? Let's just go here. I love charging. I keep messing up my charge like every single time though, which is really sad, <laughs> but it's totally fine. Oh my god, the bees! The bees are finally attacking me! <laughs> That's the first time that I've taken any damage from them. So I didn't realize that's how that worked there. But, oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> You're getting swarmed! It's totally fine though. But yeah, I love the fact that this game is cross-compatible. So that's a struggle that I have a lot of the times when it comes with um, multiplayer games like Overwatch. Because I have a lot of friends that play on console only, but I play on PC. There's a few other games that do crossplay like that as well. Like with Final Fantasy XIV, um, that was another great experience where I would play with a friend that would play on PS4, but I was on PC. Alright, we almost got this. Just one minute left to go. And then I'm also really interested to see when we'll get introduced to more Husk, potentially. Because um, I have been fighting the same ones for the last couple of missions. So I imagine there's probably going to be some new ones that I haven't encountered just quite yet. There we go. <gasps> nice. Another easy victory. Thanks to the help of all my friends. Thank you again, Ivy and Fanati and Nikos. And let's go get our rewards. I wonder if there's like a quicker way to go through this. Uh, like... I don't get me wrong, it's exciting to see me get all the experience points and all that, but after I've seen the animation of, like, what chests are you going to get, it, I'm like, I just want to kind of fast forward it. The nice thing with the llamas is that when you open it, you can fast forward to see what all the loot is that you got, but I don't think that there's any way to fast forward this mode. I could be completely wrong. So with my level 3 loot, we got some hero XP... And so the other typical goodies that you would expect from all this Storm stuff. Composition. 45% water vapor. 45% unknown volatile compounds. Oh, back in business. 10% feathers. Aw. Uh, nope, wait. Uh, I guess we know where those birds went. Oh no. <laughs> Not the birds. Those poor birds. <laughs> all right. Well. Uh, the next thing is, ooh, home base defender unlock. So now we've got a rifle man trainee. Okay, cool. So this is, uh, apparently you can get a, oh, here we go. I had to purchase this and then purchase this over here. 
So now we have to uh, apparently supply the defender uh, with their own weapon and I think also maybe ammunition too. I'm not sure. But they are actual NPCs that will stay in your zone and help you out with battling apparently. So that's pretty neat. Let's go back here. Um, assign a defender to your defender squad. Okay, got it. So I have a couple. I'm going to go use my uncommon one since it probably has better stats. And then we've completed yet another mission or quest. So not bad. Uh, now we have this to... Oh, okay. So it's a special floor tile which you have to use to deploy the defender. I can't believe it. I'm serious. I cannot believe it. The nerve of this guy. Listen to this review. Nice base, great commander, a little small, four stars. A little small, four stars? I will not let it get to me. I will not let it get to me. Commander, I reconfigured the storm shield for expansion. Ooh. I was real angry when I did it, so who knows how that's going to turn out. But if it melts down and kills us, I do not care. At least we'll be taking big base 42 along for the ride. <laughs> you hear me, buddy? I like how Ray starts off as like this very optimistic, easygoing kind of robot and is very quickly transitioning into a slightly petty, um, vengeful robot. Oh, Ray, you're too funny. Oh, oh my God, we're getting so close to unlocking the different classes. Okay, uh, let me see. I'm not sure if I'm missing any chat over here. I wonder how many uh, V-Bucks the next battle pass. Oh, that's right. Season four is starting like super soon. So I'm excited. We got to go back to our storm shield defense and we get to expand it yet again. Oh, and I'm going to get 100 V-Bucks, speaking of V-Bucks, out of this. So that's even more exciting. Let's go do it right now then. And then uh, since I've been playing Kyle, let me go level him up a little bit if I can. Can I do that right now? I don't know if I can. Maybe I can only do that. Uh, when I'm not about to queue for a game, probably. Let me see. Let me go to Heroes. Let me go here. Upgrade. Yeah, I'm going to level him up quite a bit then. This is the only Kyle that I have. So let's just level him up all the way to max. Can we do it to max level? I'm not even sure. I'm just spending all my points on him because I really like playing as him. So I figure it just makes sense. I'm ready to, like, invest in him a little bit. So, um... Let's see, increase base connectivity. Oh, so that goes extended by one piece and we can increase the bull rush distance by one tile. Eventually I'll get plasma pulse and that will damage plasma energy and it deploys a device which emits exploding plasma pulse. Oh, I saw that. That's what Penny was doing. Um, or I should say that's, um, excuse me. That is what Nikos was doing a moment ago. Uh, so let me go back and launch this and then we'll prepare to fight more husks in order to expand our shield even though we risk potentially exploding ourselves we might not want to do this alone you'll need some supplies let me send some now oh way to go remember that defender we rescued defenders can help you protect the storm shield during combat let's add a defender now place the defender pad on a floor you've built can I... Okay, I'm going to go just drop some stuff. Because I'm probably not going to need a lot of these weapons here. And I'm going to need the defender post. That'll oh, great. Nice. You brought a friend. You can grant building and harvesting permissions to visitors using the Storm Shield console menu. Oh. Oh, I, I love that Ray acknowledges that I have friends. I, I promise I have friends. Good. Now use the pad and select your defender. Let's go do this. Uh, oh, I can store stuff in my storm shield if my backpack is full. That's right. I should do that. So I'm going to go confirm this. Oh, and then I have to get... Okay, I'm going to give you a basic weapon. Sorry. You know, the good weapons are for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can have half of my ammunition. That's fine. Cool. Nicely done. Wow. You always need to make sure your defender has enough ammo. Oh. When the mission is over, your gun and any unused ammo will be returned to your inventory. When you're ready to start the fight, select Expand Shield from the Storm Shield console. Okay, got it. Well, that's good to know. Let me go in here. And now we're going to go start this. Oh, yeah, and I can go store some stuff, right? So let me go see storage. And then um, let me just put 
let's see. Let's go to my weapons. Let's put a couple of my, like, here, let me go. I guess I press T. So I can hold five weapons in here. So I'll just toss in some stuff in this way. Oh, wow. Do I only have five storage total? Is that really it? Okay. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. But good to know. <laughs> Ninja on the dance floor. All right. Let's go and expand the shield now. All right, we've already got a really beefy base here. Oh, here we go, new husk. I was just talking about how I hope we get a new one. So here's the sploder, cooking with gas. Oh my God, of course it's a propane tank too. Can't believe Hank Hill's in this game, this is crazy. But let's go and deal with all these husk over here. Again, I love that this game doesn't really take itself too seriously with like some of the weapon design. Like the fact that we have little hearts coming out of these husks when we shoot them is super freaking cute. So alone these missions are very hard. Uh, I'm glad I have all of you then. Because <laughs> otherwise this would have been probably a nightmare. Can we shoot the propane tank to make him explode? Oh, okay. So once he goes down, the propane tank will act. Oh, oh, I did not mean to do that. That was a misclick. That was a misclick. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let me go back. Anyway. That, that's cool. So you can use that very strategically. Because if there's a bunch of husks surrounding someone that's like a sploder, then you could just kill the sploder. And then I imagine that the AOE of the... Or uh, the area of effect damage would probably take care of all of my issues there. So that's uh, something that I'll definitely need to keep in mind in the future for sure. But let's go... Make sure everything's good here. I also did notice when I was going around and collecting a bunch of resources that there's all these different little statues around that are like incomplete at the moment. So you'll see over there, there's some kind of like blueprint. I wasn't able to like build it. So it seems like it's going to be something that I probably just unlock in the future, most likely. So um, when you get higher, these missions get harder. I can only imagine. I was actually struggling with these quite a bit early on. So... I definitely believe it. It does seem like some of these missions you can definitely do by yourself, but um, I'm very thankful to have the support of all of these very kind people and also the NPC character that's around here somewhere, my little defender. Another wave coming soon. Another wave, okay, from which direction? From the east. So from the east and also from south. I'm gonna switch over to the east and I'm sure, um, oh, well, that's right. We have our defender over this way. I'm kind of wanting to see them in action and see how effective they are. Because right now, I don't think that they've shot a single bullet yet. But this is cool. Um, they move definitely in a way that you would expect that they are controlled by an AI. But it's still neat that it's in the game regardless. Let's see. They have an assault rifle. So they're probably going to go through the bullets relatively quickly. Oh my god. Yes, the egg launcher. Look at the little egg. Wait, what? Is that... I wonder if the egg launcher in this game, if you have to detonate it by yourself or something. Because normally when you shoot out an egg with an egg launcher, it explodes. So there's just, oh, there's just like a random egg just chilling there in the battlefield. <laughs> so that's cool. Can I have permissions? I don't know how to do that. Uh, I did hear, um, oh, here we go. So edit permissions. So here we go. I'll give them all permissions. You all should have some now, I think. So feel free to build whatever your heart desires. I think that's what that might be. And I guess that's only in this particular zone. I guess this is probably like your own little custom zone in which you can make stuff. So I can definitely see why they have it so that you can toggle it so that no one can like edit your structures. That way no like trolls can come in here and basically destroy everything that you've like worked so hard on. So. That makes sense. But right now, my fort's like <laughs> a big piece of crap right now, honestly. It could definitely use a huge overhaul. One of these days, I'll probably just like destroy everything and start fresh and just kind of build something super fancy and kind of go from there, essentially. But yeah, I'll have to go back to my skill tree because I remember in my skill tree, it did mention that I could get a perk to get more storage in my storm shield. So I'm definitely seeing how that will be very beneficial, especially once you get to the late game and you start carrying a whole bunch of random materials in your backpack to craft a whole bunch of different weapons. 
Um, oh, you know, I guess I should use my special ability down here. I don't think anyone's going to, like, make it this way, but you never know. In case one goes under our radar. Oh, but that's right. We already have traps surrounding that area, so that probably doesn't make much sense. I think that's why it didn't really work there. Maybe. Yes, that's why. So it'll actually affect that there. Let's go back Another up this way. Soon. Another wave coming soon. Got Prepare it. For an attack from the west. All right. So how many, uh, let's see, how many bullets does this defender have now? So they have 39 bullets left. Yeah, they went through that really quickly. So I'm not too worried about it. If I was playing this completely by myself, I would probably give them more ammunition. But, you know, I basically have a whole bunch of friends here to help me, so it's totally fine. Oh, I built this when I was just kind of messing around and going around gathering materials. Just experimenting with, like, what you could build. So that was just, like, a little practice thing, basically. So let's go here. And then, yeah, I imagine as we continue to expand our base over here, that we'll have access to a whole bunch of other amazing stuff here. I have been using, like, the same weapon a lot. Should we use that really crazy, um sniper rifle just because why not it looks pretty freaking cool i do like the way it looks when you like zoom in it's totally overkill for what i'm doing right now but i like everything about it i love the way that the scope looks i love the neon outline to it and uh it's just a really cool weapon overall but let's see what else do we have again i totally oh that's right the light machine gun this one's really sweet too i do love this and honestly, for shooting so rapidly, it does have a pretty decent amount of accuracy to it, too. But I don't know why. For whatever reason, though, my favorite really does seem to be the crossbow here. I think I just really love the heart like effects for whatever reason. I just can't get over how cute that is. What can I say? Maybe I'm just deep down a huge romantic at heart. Who would have thought? But yeah, no, just looking at this... If I was doing this by myself with my little baby weapons, this would have been really, really rough. I love seeing the sword combat, so I almost like don't even want to shoot. I just want to like spectate Ivy going around there, showing off her cool ninja skills, because that is really freaking cool. You are not welcome here. <laughs> you are not welcome here. The little I got it like the writing and the dialogue in this game is really good. It's definitely made me chuckle quite a few times. I was looking at some of the voice actors that are, that are in this game and a whole bunch of them have really amazing uh previous work in fact one of the voice actors in this game is in uh, the persona series another one did the voice for like the adult sims in the sims 2 and in the herbs sims in the city so i'm like that's really freaking cool because i love classic simlish uh sounds anyone find it creepy that they wear their faces like hoods I didn't notice that until I started editing videos, and then I noticed that their faces are literally on the back of them like a hood. That is pretty freaky for sure. But there we go. We did it. Awesome. So now our storm shield has expanded, and I'm getting even closer to being able to unlock all of those different heroes, which I am very excited for. Whoa. What is happening? What? Into the storm. Okay, I didn't expect a little cinematic there. That was unexpected. Hey, another llama. Yes. I did some thinking. I got a little carried away back there. Great work as usual, Commander. Oh, yeah. One of the survivors wanted to talk to you. Okay. Good. To, I wonder if it's going to be... Um, yes, more V-Bucks. I wonder if it's going to be the Outlander or the Ninja, maybe? I think it might be. So, yeah, look. It's like uh, we're getting awfully, awfully close. Let me go open the loot. Here we go. Let's go open the little mini llama. Oh, I didn't even let it finish its sentence. Whoops. <laughs> but there we go. Got a few more goodies. Awesome. All right. Well, anyway. Whoa. Okay, so that's what the cinematic was for. Our map has expanded so much now. Holy crap. So I see. So Stonewood is the level 1 through 19 region. And the area that we're going now to is like 15 through 46. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is much more intense than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but this is where I'm going to stop for now. Uh, definitely a lot more stuff to look forward to. Just when I think that we're like getting 
close to maybe things uh, stopping. Like, there's just so much more that keeps getting piled on, which is very exciting stuff. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.